Uh, Chaturdasha Pataha in the 14th lesson, we still have one uh, paragraph left, so we'll go through that. Um, yeah, uh, someone whoever is unmute, Lerkelo, Ninga Padino. I'm a sir, but you know, Vayam Sherasa Devam Nama Maha. Vayam is we both, uh, we all. We all. Aham avam vayam shirasa devam namamaha. We bow our head and do namaskaram. Ah, so with our head, shirasa is actually idam shiraha. In at the beginning of the sentence we saw idam shiraha. So shiraha is in Napunsakalingam. So shirasa tritiya ekavachanam. So with our head, devam namamaha, we bow to the god. Okay. This is a sakaranta. It's uh, generally you don't have halanta uh, shabdas for this first uh, thing. You just know it. It's okay. This is a very common word. Uh, so, Adnala, to know this uh, shabda is better. Vayam netrabhya pashya maha. So, we all see with uh, our eyes. Ah, with two eyes. With two eyes. Netrabhya. Mm. Apra... Nasikaya. Nasikaya Shwasimaha. I've never heard that. Shwasami, I breathe. So Shwasimaha. Shwasimaha can be uh, what uh, Purusham or what uh, it could be. Swasi. Um, uh, so Maha Irkalya. See, this is your indication to know whether it is. Uh, Uttama Purusha or uh, Prathama Purusha or Madhyama Purusha. So, since the, uh, um, Karta is not given here, Karta, the doer of the action is not given here, you will have to assume looking at the uh, verb. The verb is an indication for you as to what could be the subject of the sentence. Mm. So, Shwasi maha, Shwasi maha, it's like Nama Maha, Pashya Maha. So, what could be the subject of the sentence? Um. So Pashya. Um, so, uh, uh, so we all. Yes. So Vayam Shwasi Maha. Just as how we have Vayam Nama Maha, Vayam Pashya Maha. The same way, even if we don't have a doer, doer here, we'll have to assume that it is Vayam Shwasi Maha. Okay. okay. Is the words related to uh, Shwasam? Yes, it is. So, Shwasi Maha is breathing. Okay, that's fine. Nasi Kaya. Nasi Kaya with the nose. Nasi Kaya. So, Nasi Kaya, you'll have to look at your Shabda Manjari again, the Dhatu Rupa uh, Vali, where it is in. Ah, okay, you know this word before, from before, right? So, tell me what lingam this is. We've so had this from the first lesson. Thrilling. Huh? Strilinga. Strilinga. And it is a uh, ekavachanam, duvachanam, or bahuachanam. It has to be eka. No. It has no, to be ekavachanam. Right. Yeah. It is ekavachanam. We have not read that as yet. We don't have a couple of noses like the uh, maybe yane, adhikala, irko. So I don't know. So nasi kaya, shwasi maha, we breathe with one uh, nose. So with a nose. And How do you say? Our noses are uh, say cold or bleeding when we want to address all the noses. So we are in a bunch, in a group of people and we are saying all our noses uh, are itchy. Uh, you can you, take anything. Yeah, you can do nasikaha or uh, oh. uh, as a group, you can do one nasika also. Okay. See, for example, when we have this sentence uh -huh. here, vayam netrabhyam. Huh. <laughs> you can take that. But here, Ippa Patelna, the sentence earlier, Vayam Netrabhyam Pashyamaha. We see with two eyes, even though there is a group of people, and if you count the number of eyes that are there, we should ideally say Netraihi Pashyamaha in plural. But we don't do that because we want to specify that each one of us see with two eyes. In, in a general sense, we say we see with two eyes. Okay. Yeah. Gandam 
jigrama gandam jigramascha yeah so this is actually one single word jigramascha this is another problem with uh, uh, all of chitur texts where they will put this as a separate word you will have to uh, have it as a single word here jigramaha cha jigramascha jigramascha okay and if you are doubtful about the split you can always go to the end of the lesson where it gives you jigramaha plus cha jigramascha okay mm. at the end of the page you will find the split of those words ha Okay. so gandham gandham jigramaha we uh, smell the smell Va vasanai nugarugirom abdin tamilla uh, so solvan liya so nalla gandham with the nose we breathe and we smell smell karnabhyam shabdam shrunumaha 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 with with the ears shabdam uh, hear the shabda Uh, mm. how many years with two years two years sure yes sure. so with two years we listen to sound shabdam na gandham shabdam shabdam all of these are in which case dvitiya dvitiya vibhakti because it is the object of the sentence okay i didn't understand the jigramascha can you explain oh, so jigramaha ch and No, no, I not no, not the ch ch part. I understood that part. Jigrama na enna the. J j jigrati smells. Jigrami, I smell. Jigrama ha, we all oh, smell. Jigrama smell. Okay. Uh, in inhale smell. Actually, the inhale solla kuda the adanga. Oh. It is not inhaling. Jigrama means you smell a flower, right? So mm -hmm. jigrama ha, pushpam jigrami, I smell a flower. जिघ्रति जिघ्र इज योर रूट वर्ब जिघ्र इज द धातु लाइक श्वस इज द धातु नम इज द धातु नमामह नम धातु पश्यामह पश्य दृश पश्य ऋषि जिघ्र न कर द त्र आ इघ घ घ प्लस र so you have you have to write gh and then in the in the vital erindu you will have to put a stroke oh, here oh it's not gha. that uh, tra or and the r no mm. not tra the rishi or r and the no r no it's not r jigramaha le it's jigramaha apdi gh irukanam na keela or semicircle bodu ah what you are asking is this yeah ha no can you this. spell it out on the two differentiation gr and grava gra gra gr gra and gr no, no. gra and gr gr yes this is gr this is this, this is just a normal consonant plus a vowel yeah. here you have a consonant consonant and a vowel so it's a samyukta akshara with a vowel gra jigramaha ayurvai gritam ah this is gritam gritam is this jigra Is this? Hmm. This for a special sentence for us. We like ghee. Are you why gritam? Gritam, no, ghee is ayus. But uh, every Ayurvedic treatment starts off with one ten ml ghee in the morning. That's They... awesome. <laughs> yeah, it does. The cow, nalla pasun nee vande. You warm it up in a liquid state. That is your. It starts off with that. Or dadi me, madam. Keto diet in la coffee la hot coffee la butter ko donga. Yes, you put in butter and then add it. So everybody uses the same technique. We just yeah. have a different name. That's mm. it. Ha. Muke na, piba maha, bhakshya maha, vadama vadama vadamascha. Ha, bhakshya maha. It's a ah here. क्लियरा, 
vayam pibamaha even even if the vayam is not mentioned we understand it from the verb here pibamaha so mukhena with the mouth we drink then bakshyamaha we all we eat mm -hmm. and then vadamaha we speak vadamaha cha and we speak and we speak yeah apro i can't read that jikhwaya ah jikhwaya vayam rasam rasa rasayamaha 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 rasam rasayamaha jikhwaya is with the tongue vayam we all rasam taste rasam is taste rasayamaha to taste rasam rasayamaha ha so we taste the taste with our tongue with tongue so ramesh ji and the first word every translate panuvinga jikhwaya sonna inge how do you translate it jikhwaya na with the tongue ama so you should not forget that it's it's an instrumental clause in english when you translate so you have to say with the tongue every time similarly for the verb also since the agent is built in you have to say the like uh, mahodeya was saying you have to say the agent also with the verb like we do we taste of din so something to keep in mind every word is unpacked into a clause in english mm -hmm. that's yeah. the difference between english and this because it's a prepositional language and this is an inflectional language the preposition is included into the word itself for us mm -hmm. okay. can you explain little more on that so inflectional language the the word itself is transfer tra transformed like jihwa is tongue when i say jihwaya it includes the preposition also with the tongue and the clause as he said now so yeah. you need three words in english to explain one word here so it's just a transformation of one single word uh, whereas in english it is translated into three extra two two more words are included there Okay. So there is a position of the clause that you put with the, the tongue for something. Instead of those words, mm -hmm. it is included within the word itself, and the word itself is transformed in, to include ah self-contained. Uh, uh, next one. Is... Just to say a little bit more. So if you look at the word prepositional language, there's something prior to the position. Therefore, it's a preposition, right? So with the tongue, when you say the the word with and the precede the tongue so it's a prepositional language whereas in jihwaya inflection means what when you inflect something you deform it did you you change its its rupa a little bit that's really what's happening here jihwa is the word if you take jihwa as the as the raw word you say jihwaya you have inflected it by changing its form a little bit it's still one word though yeah. so but however it contains a clause now just by the virtue of that different ending that you've done to it that's why it's inflectional versus prepositional and the all uh, other indian languages, indian languages are uh, agglutinating yeah. Illa, yeah. agglutinating it's not inflectional it's agglutinating languages because you are gluing something to it i all odu wooden idella and vetruma yuruba ottaram illa it's like gluing together the root word with some extra so ram ke liye uska you are actually adding especially so tamil is like that right Ah, Tamil definitely yes. It's called agglutinating languages. Is that different from a? Uh, I know it's beyond my pay grade, so to speak. But Sanskrit or a samasa no one says. Well, that is agglutinating different. Ah, uh, pay grade. Me, I got upper part to go. We'll do that later. Karabhyam. Karabhyam. Bhyam. Karma. Kurma. Ha. karabiyam with karabiyam with the with the hands uh, i need uh, how many karabiyam uh, two hands with my two uh, hands uh, dual vayam uh, vi karma action kurma we do the action okay yes so karma in which case is this word in case na anag prathama vibhakti dutiya vibhakti tritiya vibhakti karma is the object object of the sentence so it should be in Dvit it is Dvitiya. supposed to be dvitiya vibhakti how about Dvitiya. karabhyam karabhyam is the uh, subject pratma vibhakti no nah, it is the instrumental so it is an instrument oh, right with the with your singer so uh, hmm. fourth or seventh third third 
शब्द टच Okay. Or feel. Uh, sprisha maha. Sprisha ha. Sprisham. Sprisha maha. Adu plus. So it's corresponding to the plural. Plural of what? Uh, Aham. Tuam. Ed. Which one will uh, come there? Sprisha maha is plural. Vayam. Aham. Ah, Aham good. Ah, uh, so vayam sprisha maha. We touch with our fingers. With fingers. So again, anguli bhi. Uh, what is the vibhakti for it? Anguli bhi. Uh, I don't have the vibhakti table. Uh, with with na na din terla. He just uh, did it again. Uh, Alia uh, third. Uh, third. Okay. We are dealing with third vibhakti in all of this. Oh, okay. With okay. is third vibhakti. Okay. Hmm. Ah, I I left my cheat sheet on the uh, table. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> गोईंगल धातु हियर इज गम धातु आगछा विद प्रत्यय उपसर्ग इट इज कॉल्ड उपसर्ग उपसर्ग नेक्स्ट वन इज शरीर अवयवैः हा शरीर अवयैः अवयैः ल अवयैः शरीर अवयैः अवयवैः वयम् विविधम् कर्म कुर्मः शरीर अव विद विद द वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी ओके सो शरीरम् अवयम् शरीरम् अवयैः वयम् अहम् वी ऑल Mm-hmm. plural vividham 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 is uh, different different, uh, different various mm. uh, various karma action kurmaha we do various actions okay now when you translated this sharira avayavaihi you said parts of the body mm. yeah so mm. you automatically figured out that this this is a combination of two words sharira and avayava are present as one word this is your samasa okay mm. so these are, when two words combine then it's it becomes one word and that one word is called samasta padam that it's a combined word if you have to split it you should know how the meaning applies so because he said the parts of the body so of the body should come here first sharira and then of comes for shashti vibhakti so sharirasya avayavaihi by the parts of the body when i say sharirasya avayavah sharivavayavah i can combine it and say body part part of the body can just com- be- become a combined word as body part a hyphenated word right but the key is uh, before this class i would have said sharira ha avayai but after this class sharirasya avayai ha correct madhyatra vividham karma iti ekavachane asti bahuvachane nasti 
नास्ति कर्मा कु so um again all of these you can do the worksheet also and the uh, the the exercises that are here which just follows what is there in the lesson okay uh ha jigramaha plus cha whenever you have a visarga here and the cha there is a cha that follows for now you just take it blindly as jigramas cha the visarga becomes sh so usually visarga becomes s and then this s transforms into sh so jigramas cha vadamas cha agachamas cha the visarga becomes ish shakara hmm? and here you have a dirgha शरीर प्लस अवयवै इट डे शरीर अवयवै इट टेक्स ऑन अ दीर्घम बोथ अ प्लस अ टेक्स ऑन द लॉन्गर फॉर्म ऑफ दट अंड बिकम शरीरावयवै बट अलियर इज सेड हियर शरीरस्य अवयवै हियर हां शरीरस्य सो फर्स्ट यू हैव अ समस्त पदम यू गिव द विग्रह वाक्यम फॉर इट and then when those two combine to make an uh, uh, one single com- combined word samasta padam each one will go back to its root word and form a new word so sharirasya avayavah let's take just avayavah for now sharirasya what is your root word that is why i said you will have to remember the uh, uh, shabdas with its uh, Table, a label, right? So akaranta pulling ha sharira shabda ha. So that is your sharira, which is here, which is your root word of sharirasya. It goes back to its root word and combines with avayava. These two form sharira avayava. Then you will apply. Now this becomes a new word. Akaranta pulling ha sharira avayava shabda ha. शरीरावयव 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 त्र तृतीया विभक्ति बहुवचन द कंबाइंड वर्ड आल्सो बिकम्स अ न्यू वर्ड हियर अम या आई डोंट नो अम इन इंग्लिश इट माइट बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी आई कैन से इन तेलुगु अम शरीरस्य अवयवैः अन चपाल अनुकुंठनानो आदि संधिलो पेटेटपुरु रूट वर्ड शरीरा का बाटी शरीरा के बिल्ली अकड़ अवयवै निच वच्ची आ रेंडु संधि आई संधि बॉडी पार्ट्स So, yeah so let me maybe i am uh, maybe i confused baskar sorry so mm-hmm. you, so baskar garu you are right in saying that uh raw word undi kada sharirasya an cheppe cheppe appudu meeku uh raw word the basic word kada adi sharira akaranta pundu sharira an cheptam kada aa raw word ki peru untundi pratipadikam ni aa raw word ni teeskoni avayava nundi raw word tho combine chesina appudu akkada sandhi jarugutundi that is different but the process of making a samasa you remove the vibhakti endings right you don't you disregard the vibhakti endings so when you make a samasa you take the raw words 
doing that is not called sandhi that's just called making a samastha uh-huh. that's all so is that okay did you did i so there is sandhi in the sense that when you when you combine the two raw words you do have at the end at the end but initially when you make a sama, samasa or a compound word in sanskritam all you are doing is you are taking the raw words which are which don't have any vibhaktis applied to them and then you combine them to form a new raw word like sharira vayava like mahodaya was saying and then you do the vibhakti part in the process of making a new raw word you might have vowel sandhi or consonant sandhi etc is that clear okay. yanni gur ya ardham ayyandi ha okay next he gives a set of words if you are interested you can go through those words also i will just give you uh, the lingam for these words some of these words are new so all of these are paryaya vachi for body shariram iti so gatram napunsakalingam vapuhu is also napunsakalingam but it is like uh, shiraha vapuhu shakaranta so vapuhu vapushi vapumshi uh, samhananam is also shariram i didn't know that hmm. shariram again is napunsakalinga varshma varshma varshmani varshmani is a nakaranta uh, napunsakalingam vigraha kayaha dehaha all these are uh, 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 pullinga okay pumsoho so the from this to this you it is all napunsakalinga words and then vigraha took dehaha vigraha kayaha and dehaha all these yeah. three words are masculine yeah. okay and then uh, murtihi tanuhu tanuhu these three one. are stree linga padani okay is that clear by you said it is kayaha but he said it he said it's kayo ah uh, that is in sandhi it just uh, becomes kayo kayo deha because it's a amarakosham is in the form of a shloka and when you do it in a shlokam it follows the rules of meter so when i say gatram vapu samhananam shariram varshma vigraha kayo deha kayo deho murtis tanu so it should come like that i am not sure how it goes in the amarakosha it comes in the form of an anushtup shloka here okay oh, thank you Mm. So, so it follows so, those visarga rules also so does it mean that uh, we have to use these uh... sorry yeah ila ipo if you are using for a male you have to use vapuhu and mm. then if you are female you have to use tanuhu applicable illa illa applicable each one has a different application sometimes No, no, uh, uh, in a kavyam in in such essays or when you are writing question answers these don't apply but in a kavyam when i am writing a poetry which has to have some beautiful rasam that comes out I, uh, uh, when i'm talking of an aika let's say a heroine's body then i would not be using shariram there the word shariram itself means shiryate iti shariram that which gets destroyed so i can't use shariram for an aika i'll have to use deha that which is uh, uh, dihyate that which is prakasha yuktam kanti yuktam or uh, uh, if i'm using for a baby i can say gatram gatram na nalla pushtiya irukirad you know something nice uh, uh, well built gatram or i can use gatram for a hero who is well built so uh, um, in kalidasa's shakuntalam he would use uh, मेध छिन्न गात्र वेन हि इज डिस्क्रैबिंग अ सेनापति हूज बॉडी इज रियली फिट आफ्टर डूइंग हंटिंग एंड ऑल दैट हिस्से हिस् बॉडी इज फिट तत्र हि यूज इज गात्र इट इज यूज शरीर विग्रह एंड ऑल दैट सो इट मेक्स सें इन दोस केसेस gana ala gana ananda patram trinetram and the gatram varu ilayanga ha irukla pavitram uh, okay does anybody remember no i don't uh... gatram like you know yeah na gurtundandi yeah ah akada gatram ochunu meeku if you listen to it yeah they describe the body of shiva mm. so it contextually you can use it doesn't matter who the uh, person is there okay Ha I can I stop Murti is uh, fascinating right in uh, 
in a sense bi yeah. biologically uh, males uh, have the name uh, murti right but it's uh, <laughs> considered as gender and the feminine because of the e ikara anta uh, ikara anta matra alla the word itself is defined as uh, uh, strilinga tanuhu murti is uh, defined as that and uh, you won't have generally munnadi la murti nu matra vakke mata sundara murti vishnu has krishna murti krishnasya murti hi yasya saha so it actually indicates a person who has the form of krishna who has the form of uh, a sundara sundara murti hi sundara murti nayanar irnar liya so sundara murti ingarche one who has a very beautiful form so it uh, it does not indicate murti there one who has the form so it ha- it goes to the person who has the form so you're saying krishna murti means uh, a person uh, with a form of krishna ah with a form similar to krishna abhi uh, ekdike hmm. yeah or uh, a person who is built in the form of krishna no uh, uh, everybody is uh, an amsha of bhagavan in that manner so that word itself will be still uh, thrilling uh, right no it won't be krishna murti he will become a pullinga word and when it when it comes to personal names don't try to go into vyutpatti adu in in these term times the names that people come up with it is very difficult to give vyutpatti for all those names pitri cha it's there in uh, dharma shastram whatever the parents feel like they can keep that name that's all so you don't need to think of meanings for that okay